Thank you for joining us. Among the many subjects we cover, one of the most important concerns is certainly that of our health. The most important conference on age reversal just took place here in Las Vegas at the beautiful Westgate Resort and Conference Center. Over 1,000 people attended this Revolution Against Aging and Death conference with prominent scientists, doctors, and authors, including Dr. Bill Andrews, Dr. Sandra Kaufman, Liz Parrish, and Suzanne Summers, among the world-famous featured speakers. We'll begin with a keynote presentation by Bill Falloon. talk about here is an announcement that you're going to read about. We've got a lot of media covering this right now, but wouldn't you like to actually have been there at Kitty Hawk when the Wright brothers were testing out the different gliders, working on a motor to make something happen that changed the world forever? Wouldn't you like to be there? Well, guess what? You are there. Right now, we are launching <laughs> the most ambitious biomedical study in history, no one's ever attempted to do this before. We're going to launch it. I hope others copy, by the way. It's called Vitality and Aging. That's the name of the study. And the fundamental challenge we had is, to do this right, we'd need five years and $50 million. Well, most of us can't wait five years before something major happens, uh, and we don't, didn't have $50 million. So what we put together, two studies. Two studies were put together. Number one, it's the Vitality and Aging longitudinal study. That's a study that everyone can enroll in. Very, very good news, a longitudinal study. And then based on the data we acquire from you as an individual, we can then determine whether you qualify for the interventions trial. Interventions mean we give you all kinds of stuff, that whole stair-step approach to biological age control. You get the desatinib and the rapamycin and the metformin, the NAD boosters, the biologics. You get all that for free if you qualify for the interventions trial. And again, this entire presentation on that website. So step one, for anyone who seriously wants to intervene in their aging process is join the Vitality and Aging Longitudinal Study right here at RADFEST. We modeled this after the Framingham Heart Study. Uh, long term, there's no limit as to how long we're going to push this forward. And in case you don't know about Framingham, it is how they identified the risk factors that cause us to have heart attacks and strokes. Framingham has been going on for a long time, and we use that term risk factor a lot as it relates to things we shouldn't eat or lifestyles that are dangerous. Well, the whole concept of risk factor came out of Framingham. That's where the term was founded. So what we're doing at the Vitality and Aging Longitudinal Study is we're going to identify risk factors causing you to age. We're going to provide access to biomarker tests at really low subsidized prices. We've got testing labs around the country who are virtually donating some of these tests to us so that we can make them widely available at deeply discounted prices. These are not things that we're selling, by the way, but we're going to refer you to sources around the world making some of these therapies available for virtually nothing. So where we are with the funding? We need about $800,000 a year. So far, I've covered this all myself. 100% of the costs of this have been myself and the donations of physicians' time. We've received donations of $395,000 as of three days ago. But one of our supporters didn't like that. He didn't like the fact that we were launching the most ambitious clinical trial in human history, and we only had 395000 in the bank, plus my commitment to make up the difference. He didn't like that. So he texted me just an hour ago, indicating $210,000 is on the way. That will be up over $600,000 within the next 24 to 48 hours. Yeah. We're getting some recognition. This individual, by the way, is very prolific. He's very wealthy, and he believes he should use his money to accelerate research to keep humanity alive. And he's written some major checks, over $7 million in the last couple of years that I know of. And the charity that we set up to fund this project, we started in January this year, the Human Age Reversal Project. This is where you can make donations, large or small, whatever they do, they help us add more interventions, more clinical tests, enroll more people to keep the individuals alive. And I just want to remind the group, I was trying to raise 10 to $25 million so that we could fund research 
get people in. It wouldn't cost them anything because we had a lot of money in the bank. And I never raised enough money to even launch any type of commercial entity. So I refunded $1.2 million to everyone who put money into these commercial ventures. And that was my commitment to them, by the way. I said, if we don't raise at least $10 million, we might as well just re refund the money and try a different route. And the charitable route seems to be working because people are writing checks for our charity. So this is how we're going to launch this study here at RADFest, right at the RAD clinic. The doctors are donating their time. We've got six doctors there who are going to give you medical exams. We've got blood draw stations. We've got testing equipment. Now, you could do this in a doctor's office, if you go to a progressive doctor, that is. It would cost you over $4,000. With the subsidized prices we're getting, we've brought it down to $595. But I put a couple hundred thousand dollars into making this happen, and the doctors have donated their time, some of their equipment, their personnel. That's the only reason why we can do this for $595. We've got a new age management panel. This is the VIA longevity study, and uh, we've added NAD, by the way, to that panel. We're going to test your NAD and all kinds of metabolites. And this is something that you may not have realized how much is important to you. It's a wristband. If you join the study for $595, we will give you a, a wristband. It costs around $140 if you want to buy it, but that's part of the $595 price. Measures your sleep, quality, and physical activity, but maybe more, most important, your heart rate variability. This is very important because if you have low heart rate variability, you have a greater risk of dropping dead. And you know what? I don't want anybody who enrolls in a longevity study to die. No one is allowed to die. Therefore, if you, if, if you want to get into this study, we're including this in the $595 price, you understand. If you want to, you've got to wear a wristband and provide us with the information. And in case you don't know, not just heart attack risk, but low heart rate variability, a huge increase in your stroke risk. That is scary. And the idea that you can measure it now and if it's low, do something to boost it is fantastic. And uh, again, this is to emphasize how important it is to not let anybody in our longitudinal study die from something that we could have picked up early and done something about. Harvard, by the way, endorses this as a way of testing people to see if they are at a greater risk for a cardiovascular event. If you are, you can go to a cardiologist and hopefully correct that problem. So this is the Morpheus wristband. They're providing it to us, by the way, at a super discounted price, which is why we can include it in the whole package that we're doing. So this is a, pretty much a list of everything that you get by participating in the longitudinal study. The wristband, standard clinical test, the age management blood test panel, NAD, omega-3 index, a bioimpedance measure. We want to see what your belly fat measure is. We want to see what your muscle mass is. So when you come back in a year, we want to see how well the interventions worked on you. And we're going to test your cognitive function, pulmonary function, uh, a whole lot of tests. We have an, uh, something called the age meter. It's going to identify how old you are now, and we're going to see how old you are a year from now. We need to know if these interventions are working. And if we get more money, which we have already, we'll be able to do more tests. All of that for that uh, price. Now, here's a hidden potential benefit. It's only potential, but we're getting donations. We're getting government grants, perhaps. Uh, if we raise enough money and you enroll in the longitudinal study here at RADFEST, there may be no further out-of-pocket expenses. In other words, this could be, I can't say for sure at all, it could be free to the people who get in on the ground floor of what we're doing, because you will be very unique people. You've taken care of yourself your whole life. You're going to be do doing the AMPK activation, removing your senescent cells, restoring NAD, the autophagy. You're going to be doing all of these interventions. So when people have a, another way to keep you alive, you're the group they're going to want to study. And if it's up to you, you don't have to do any of this stuff, but we'll call you up and say, would you like to have a, access to a new therapy that's costing maybe 20000 Would you like to have it available for free? And if we can do that, it would be fantastic. And by the way, if you just want some blood tests, uh, you don't want to enroll in the study, you can get those at RADFest for 395. The cost, again, would be over 3000 just for these blood tests. We're making available only at RADFest right now for this 395 and maybe a week later. Uh, that price goes up to 695 So the Vitality and Aging Longitudinal Study, you enroll at Rad City, we do the blood test, all kind of diagnostic tests, and then you use those results to develop your longevity program, and we'll help you with that. And then you retest and, and then see what we can do to further improve the age reversal efficacy. This is very, very important. So, step two, and this is only for people who qualified who meet the strict inclusion criteria. We're looking for about 50 people, maybe more at this point, 
who will enroll in the interventions trial. And the good news about this one is it's free. We pay for it all. You pay for nothing whatsoever. And the objective of this particular study is to measure statistically significant and meaningful age reversal in 12 months. In other words, next year's RADFest, we're going to be retesting the people who enrolled in the study to see how much they may have grown biologically younger. And at this point, our Human Age Reversal Project charity is the major funder of it, and we can only do it with the doctors donating their time, me donating a lot of the infrastructure, and making it happen. So step one, for everyone here who's interested in being part of a group, a research group that we hope will have no upper age threshold, you join the longitudinal study. Then when you get results back, you may be eligible for the interventions trial. That is free. That's coming out of the charity money. It's coming out of uh, doctors give, donating their time, uh, laboratories uh, subsidizing the, the tests to a point where we can afford to give it to you for free. So step one, longitudinal study. You can enroll at RADFest. It's easy to do. And then the intervention trial, well, you'll be selected if you meet the, the criteria. The age reversal interventions. Interventions is another word for therapies. What therapies are we going to use to reverse your aging process? Well, we're going to target calorie restriction pathways. We're going to reduce and resolve inflammation. Those are two different uh, ways, two different mechanisms. We're going to lengthen telomeres. We're going to remove, of course, senescent cells and restore youthful methylation patterns. This is just another chart of what we're going to do if you enroll in the longitudinal study. Uh, some of you have to pay for, by the way, but you'll get it at heavily subsidized prices. We're going to attack every one of these aspects of aging so that we hope within 12 months we can see you have grown biologically younger. So this is an open label trial. There will never be a placebo group in any study I'm involved in. We are all aging, I'm afraid, to death at this stage, but I'm not going to let some people just take dummy pills and watch them die, uh, so everyone gets the active interventions. No placebo whatsoever. And we're, we're looking for about 50 people, and you can see there's an age criteria between 50 and 75. So you can see automatically some of you are disqualified. However, if you enroll in a longitudinal study, you gain access to a lot, or everything. You gain access to everything that the people in the intervention trial get for free. And I'm going to try to clarify that more as, as we talk. And we just had an announcement made right before I went on stage that a group called International Anti-Aging Systems, they're going to give away a lot of free desatinib. They're going to give it away. You might have to pay for the shipping, but for a couple hundred people who enroll in a longitudinal study, you'll get the synolytic you need to reduce your senescent cell burden for free. And that was told to me right before I went on stage. So we have this big list of things you get for $5.95. You may get a bottle of desatinib, which is enough for two people, probably two doses a year. It's really fantastic. This is our timeline. Very, very aggressive, as you can imagine. We need to reverse aging within 12 months in order to make our study work. So again, the first intervention in our interventions trial is calorie restriction mimetics. Look at this chart, it's really amazing. 2018, they looked at eight aging biomarkers, and if people just reduced their calorie intake by 12%, their age score improved by one and a half years. Now, when I saw this, I thought, well, how easy? Eat just 12% less? That's not a big thing to ask, but for some people, they won't. So what we're doing is targeting these calorie restriction pathways with metformin, uh, glucosamine, rapamycin, terostilbene, we're doing that pharmaceutically rather than asking people to undereat. You can undereat if you want, but uh, you don't have to. The objective, increase AMPK, autophagy, sirtuins, NAD, and then decrease excess of mTOR, excess insulin, excess of IGF-1 signals. You want to turn those down, you want to boost the others. This is our objective. So how are we going to regulate all this? Metformin. How many of you, by the way, are taking metformin right now? What percentage of you are taking? Wow, wow, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, when you think about the fact that we've been advocating it since 1995, and when you ask your doctor for a prescription and you're not a diabetic, he thinks there's something wrong with you. Well, there's, there's nothing wrong with you because metformin has AMPK boosting activity, which is a way we feel to control aging. So we're going to boost AMPK indirectly with metformin, directly with salicylate. This is not aspirin, by the way, but it has some AMPK boosting functions to it. We're going to inhibit mTOR with rapid 
rapamycin. And as you may know, rapamycin has been shown to extend lifespan in virtually every animal model tested. It reduces cancer risk in humans. And the new research indicates that rapamycin might enable you to shed some belly fat. Very important, because remember, people with a lot of belly fat, they develop dementia. Their risk of cancer goes up dramatically. So if we can validate through the testing we're going to do, because we're going to test the amount of belly fat you have here at Rad City and see where you are 12 months from now. That's our objective, to reduce that fat mass, turn down infl inflammation, do a lot of good stuff. Increase sirtuins with terostilbene. We're going to boost NAD with nicotinamide riboside. All of this is critical, as we know. Restore the NAD, NADH ratio, which goes off kilter when we grow older. So we've got a whole program laid out, and it's, it's available to everyone. And autophagy, rapamycin, best way to purge the accumulated cellular debris that's in our aging cells. So these are the calorie restriction pathway targets, and we are also going to, of course, remove senescent cells. Uh, we're going to use a cocktail of desatinib, quercetin, and fisetin. We're using these three ingredients to remove as many senescent cells from your aging body as we possibly can do. And, of course, inflammation, major problem with aging, and we're going to take care of that with high-dose fish oil, and another marine lipid that you probably haven't heard about yet called resolvents. These return previously inflamed tissues to normal health. So this is going to be included in the interventions trial, or you can buy it yourself. We're going to attempt to elongate telomeres. There is data showing that if you do certain uh, activities like exercise, control your stress, uh, take in a lot of omega-3s, you might be able to elongate your telomeres. We're hoping with the other interventions, you'll also be able to do that. And of course, we want to restore youthful methylation. Very important for your health and also a way for us to measure how old you're growing or how young you're becoming. That's what we want to do. Measurements are so important. And we think methylation will be balanced with rapamycin, metformin, uh, any other CR mimetics that we use, we think will enhance methylation pathways. Now, these are the advanced tests that are going to be made available to people in that interventions trial. Remember, this is the one that's free. And we've got Johns Hopkins are donating pretty much the tests to enable us to measure telomeres. They're giving us a subsidized price on it, probably below their cost. But Johns Hopkins and University of British Columbia, UCLA, they're recognizing the significance of this study. And they're getting, giving us access to low-cost tests. In the interventions trial, this is all free. And if you're in the longitudinal study, you gain access to them at discount prices if you want that. So again, to emphasize, if you qualify for the VIA, Vitality and Aging Interventions Trial, you get something that's probably worth over 30000 I like to be conservative in whatever I say, so the value is definitely over 10000 You get that for free. I don't know how many of you expected that at RadFest, but that's what I'm announcing right now. Now, here's the, here's the problem for some of us. Uh, rather strict inclusion criteria. And the reason for this is we need to demonstrate meaningful and statistically significant age reversal in 12 months. If you are unhealthy now, if you weigh too much, if you have underlying medical conditions, uh, it's going to be hard for us to overcome that in just 12 months. So this is the inclusion criteria. I don't fit into this, by the way. I would not qualify for the interventions trial because I have some issues as it relates to what you're looking at. But if you, if you meet this criteria, and we're going to validate that because you first enroll in the longitudinal study, and we're going to see where you are, then you can participate. And if you aren't eligible, you can still do everything, but you've got to pay for your interventions. And thank goodness metformin costs virtually nothing. And rapamycin and desatinib, they're sources that cost very, very little. These are not expensive. So the amount of funds donated, $395,000 after a couple days ago. And I said, when someone saw this, they got a little bit upset. They said, you're trying to reverse aging? doing something unprecedented, that's all the money you have. So $210,000 coming in so I can show a more effective number, a more impressive number, let's put it that way. I don't know how many of you are considering this, but thinking maybe I'll just do it later. I've been doing this life extension work professionally since 1977. I incorporated the Life Extension Foundation in Florida in January 1977. I have never stopped seeking ways to enable people to live longer and never thought in my lifetime that I'd be talking on a stage about human age reversal and having interventions available for people to potentially make that happen. If you're thinking, maybe I'll do this later, I have to, hate to tell you, a lot of people just never do it. And we've lost a lot of good supporters because they put off what they should be doing. Step one is the vitality and aging 
longitudinal study. That's open to everybody. Everybody gets into that study. We're going to measure your aging. And when you come back here next year, we're going to test you again and see how well you did with whatever you chose to do, by the way. We're going to give you a recommended list of interventions, and you're going to learn this whole weekend about other therapies that could reverse your aging process. By enrolling in this study, you know where you are today, you get on these other therapies, and then we measure you a year later and find out what's really working. That's what makes this study so important. The funding is $800,000 a year, the longitudinal study. I'm committing to cover all the expenses for the first year, but thank goodness some donations are coming in because that's going to enable us to do more tests, bring in more interventions, enroll more people. Money is coming in. It's something that we haven't had happen before at the velocity it's doing. So this is the new charity to make a tax-deductible donation to. All of the money goes for human age reversal research. I am also committed to paying all the overhead of this charity. No one gets a paycheck. We don't pay even the accountants or the attorneys. I pay them out of my own pocket. So if you donate $1 to the Age Reversal Project, the $1 goes into Age Reversal Research. It is not the typical charity where people actually need the money for overhead costs. We are going to fund, I am going to fund the overhead costs of this particular charity. So just to put this into context again, the longitudinal study available to everybody. You should go to the agereversal.net to read the, the details about it, including reviewing my entire PowerPoint presentation in the way it was originally developed. There's some very interesting data that I didn't get to show you. But nonetheless, go to the agereversal.net and read the informed consent material. That's really important because that lets us get you into the study faster. LabCorp was generous enough to set up a blood draw station in Rad City. So you can go to the life extension booth or go first actually to the vitality and aging uh, booth and enroll in a study and then LabCorp phlebotomist will do your blood draws and then at our vitality and aging, we're going to be doing the baseline. We're going to measure your belly fat, your muscle mass, your cognitive proficiency, a number of aging markers. And you get the Morpheus wristband. We'll teach you how to use this in the vitality and aging booth. This is all included in this price. I'm just going to go through these blood tests quickly. These are some of the tests that are available in this profile. It's been expanded in a way that we are going to be able to identify your rate of aging, including a full NAD metabolite test, so we know how well we're doing as far as boosting our levels. This is unprecedented. Has never been available to anybody before. It's being available now because of what we're doing. So once again, to summarize, the longitudinal study, this is the one you have to pay a little bit of money for. And 595 is not a little bit, but what you're getting is all this stuff in addition to the blood tests, which are extensive. And if you only want some blood tests, well, you can get those for 395, but then you won't be in our group. And I hope you all want to be part of this circle of dedicated people. These are some of the doctors who are so humanitarian, the words don't describe it. They've donated their time. They're at the RAD clinic this whole weekend. They've walked away from their medical practice to give you medical exams, to evaluate where you stand as it relates to aging. This is unprecedented. Dr. James Watson, uh, Richard Gaines, and then Dr. Sturgis in Idaho. Within the next couple months, we'll have doctors around the country. I want to emphasize again this entire presentation on age-reversal.net, including a link to the uh, informed consent form. So again, the stair-step approach to biological age control, that is what the intervention study is going to provide you with, including exosomes. And that is all part of this program. I know a lot of you are doing this already, but as we do, if we do it as a group, we will not have people literally running in 100 different directions, which is what happened after previous RADFests. Um, people would get real excited, and they would go here and there and everywhere, and we couldn't figure out what was working what isn't. We've now structured this so you can be part of a group, be given specific advice. You can choose to ignore it and do your own thing, but we're at least going to be able to measure how well it may have worked. So again, multiple interventions that we have at our disposal right now to potentially reverse your aging process. The stair-step approach, if you make it to year 2030, we cure aging, we start curing just about everything out there, and we are able to merge into the cloud. Merge into the cloud, immortality, and these are people who aren't going to get there. They chose not to put their money in the right direction, they, they were worth many, many billions, and they died at ridiculously young ages. These multi-billionaires who should have stayed alive one way or another managed, unfortunately, to check out way too early. 
And there's people, thank goodness, who are making some donations. But had some of these people donated just a little bit of money towards age reversal, they might be alive right now. It's really pathetic that we have that kind of a problem. And again, T. Boone Pickens, his quote, Joe, is so accurate as it relates to people I've spoken to over the years. I say, you know, you ought to do something about that problem. And they say, oh, I feel okay today, as if that's the way they're going to feel going on indefinitely. It just isn't true. T. Boone Pickens, look what he put into a football stadium. $260 million. So the Oklahoma State University has a nice stadium. T. Boone Pickens is a box of ashes. It's kind of pathetic. So if you write money to charities, write checks, you ought to really consider groups like Aubrey de Grey Sens uh, Foundation. There's a couple other charities here. And then our Human Age Reversal Project. It just seems to make more sense that if you're going to donate money to something, let it benefit all of humanity, including yourself. Including yourself. So I'm going to conclude by just reminding you how I started. We truly were, were doomed 10 years ago. It was a very frustrating three-day event. Uh, so many people were there at that event, and yet we couldn't come up with one solution. We didn't know of anything that could reverse your biological age. And again, that's the group picture to the left, 2009. We moved forward only 10 years and look at the number of interventions that are demonstrating efficacy in studies that we're looking at. And you're going to hear about a lot more. This whole weekend, there's going to be speakers talking about what they're doing beyond these types of interventions. This is a true fantastic voyage. MIT research came out earlier this year indicating this may become a reality in our lifetime. So first step to extending your healthy lifespan, no matter what therapy you want to engage in, by the way, is enroll in that longitudinal study. That then gives you baseline data so that one year from now, you're going to know whatever you chose, whether it's working, whether it's partially working. So again, this is the charity that's going to fund this research going on, we hope, in perpetuity. And I want to thank everyone for their support of Life Extension over the last 42 years. That's why we have RadFest. I was able to get this up off the ground with Jim and so many others with the People Unlimited group. So thank you very much, and I'll be looking forward to interacting with as many people as I can this weekend. Life Extension Magazine brings you new discoveries in health and anti-aging. Our science-based research and supplements are so advanced, they're many years ahead of the medical mainstream with quality control standards that exceed FDA mandates. Life Extension has covered groundbreaking medical research for more than 35 years. For your health and future, you deserve the best. Learn more at lifeextension.com. This brings us to the end of our special show for today. I'm Richard Peretz. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm.